welcome to the class of Vedic Maths. In this class, we will extend our discussion of multiplication by Nikulam method with some more examples. In these examples, we can see that we are multiplying two such numbers, in which one number is less than the base and other one is more than the base, but obviously both the numbers were closer to base. So, let us proceed. The first example is 94 multiplied by 108. The first thing that we have to do is to check the base. The base here is 100. So the next step is to get the difference between the base and the numbers. So how much 94 is less than its base, that is 100, it is 6. Then how much 108 is less than its base, it is minus 8. Now, we can write down the answers. The answer will have two parts. In the first part, we will write the difference of 94 and minus 8, or, 108 and 6, in either cases, it will be 102. This is the first part. The second part, that has to be written in continuation to the first part, will be multiplication of 6 and minus 8, and it will be minus 48. Now, we know that second part cannot be negative value, as we see in rule written on side of your screen. If part 2 contains a negative value, then to make it a positive value, we have to borrow a suitable number from part 1. The one number borrowed from part 1 becomes 100, for part 2, because part 1 has 100 times value to the part 2. So after borrowing one number from part 1 the value of part 2 will become 52, because when 100 gets added to minus 48, it will become 52. And after giving one number, the value of part 1, will become 101. Now the new value for part 1, is 101 and the new value for part 2, is 52. Before finalizing the answer, we will have to check, whether the part 2 contains as many digits as the numbers of zeros in base. It already contains two digits. Thus the final answer will be, 10152. Let us solve question number 2. Also for this calculation, the base is 100. Now, 92 is 8 less than 100, and 112 is minus 12 less than 100. Now while writing down the answer, the first part will be the difference of I there, 92 and minus 12, or, 112 and 8, which is 104, this is the first part of our answer. Second part, is the multiplication of 8 and minus 12, that is, minus 96. But when the second part is negative value, we have to borrow a suitable number from part 1. If we are borrowing one from part 1, it will become 100 in part 2, because the value of part 1 is, 100 times the part 2. So after adding 100 to the second part, it will become 4. And the value of first part will become 103. So the answer in this case will be, 103, and 04. Why 04? Because second part must contain two digits as there is two zeros in base number. Towards the next question, that is, 994 multiplied by 1008. So what is the base for this calculation? It is 1000, because both these numbers were closer to 1000. Now the difference between, 1994, is, 6. And the difference between, 1000 and 1008, is, minus 8. Now we can write down the answer. First part of our answer will be the difference of 994 and minus 8, which will be 1002. And second part will be the multiplication of 6 and minus 8, that is, minus 48. But when the second part is negative, we have to make it positive by borrowing a suitable number from part 1. We will borrow 1 from first part, since the base here is 1000, it will become 1000 in the second part. In the previous two examples, we have seen that by borrowing one from the first part, it becomes 100, because the base was 100. Since here the base is 1000, when we borrow one from the part 1, it will become 1000, so when 1000 is added to the second part, that means, 1000 minus 48, the value will become 952. And the first part will be 1001, because 1 has been borrowed from 1002. But before finalizing the answer we will check whether the part 2 contains as many digits as the numbers of zeros in base. It already contains 3 digits. So the answer will be 1001952. 
Now the last question, 9994 multiplied by 10008. How much will be the base here? Base is 10,000. So the first number is 6 less than 10,000. And the second number is minus 8 less than 10,000. While writing down the answer, first we will write the difference of 9,994 and minus 8 Oregon, 10008 and 6, that is 10,002, that is the first part. And the second part will be the multiplication, of 6 and minus 8, that is minus 48. Again, since the second part has negative value, we have to borrow a suitable number. We will borrow one from part one. It will become 10,000 here, because the base here is 10,000. So by adding 10,000 and minus 48, will become 9,952. And the first part will become 10,001, because one has been borrowed from 10,002. Now we will check whether the second part contains four digit. It already contains. So the answer will be 10001995 In this session we have seen that how to solve these kind of examples. We will see more different type of examples in our next class.